Thanks, Gautam. Good evening and welcome. This is Amrita Banerjee. And our top stories are... Dengue situation still grim. Government holds urgent meeting. Violent clash in northern part of city. 28 arrested. And tribute to Sister Nivedita from our grateful admirers. Now the news in detail. The threat of Tengu continues to loom large over the people of the state. Reports of people suffering from the vector-borne disease continues to pour in. So far, 17 people have died due to the disease, but unofficial figures put the toll higher. The administration is trying its best to combat the situation. More than 2,000 patients are still undergoing treatment at various governmental and non-governmental hospitals. An emergency meeting was held today at the Health Ministry headquarters in Salt Lake to review the latest situation. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee today made a surprise visit to a hospital en route to State Secretariat Nobanno. She inspected the hospital and also spoke with the officials. The Chief Minister reportedly asked hospital authorities to see that the premises were clean. 28 people have been arrested from Maniktala in North Kolkata today after two groups clashed violently over a football match. Stones and bottles were freely thrown during the altercation which was allegedly between two factions of the Trinamool Congress. The party, however, has ruled out any connection with the incident. The incident began last evening following a football match in the area. Tension spilled over to this morning and intermittent clashes continued till the police lati charged the crowd. The police action failed to rein in the mob and the rapid action force had to be called in. Local trains passing through the area were also pelted with stones. The situation remains tense. MLAs and local leaders reached the spot to pacify the agitated people. <laughs> The state education minister Partho Chatterjee said the paucity of teachers in secondary schools was due to legal complications. The government was trying to resolve the issue and it would soon be set right. The minister was speaking on the sidelines of the felicitation program for students who had bagged top ranks in the secondary and higher secondary examinations for 2016. The students were awarded with certificates, laptops, wristwatches, books and sweets. 79 secondary and 59 higher secondary students were awarded today. पाठन पाठने वास्तविक दिग्गुनों ये पाठों को चालू करा। आम्रा इतनी मोद ही अगर बारों को जंतु, आमदे सिलेबस कमेटी शेही कार्य शंकर ने पुरे चे मुं खूब समोल पे वाई प्रथम नोटों पाठों को मुंडिए आमदे पुरी कश्मीर होते। Students of the state can now look forward to learning a new language, Thai, in the city. The Indian Association for Asian Pacific Studies, along with the Thai Consulate, have begun a course understanding Thailand at the Indian Council for Cultural Relations. Here, apart from information about the culture, politics, history and education of Thailand, the language will also be taught. Thai Council General Preacher Kansen said, apart from students, researchers can also benefit from the course. Necessity. 
objective of the course is, I think, as the perception paper I saw, for two things. First, to give the students a unique opportunity to develop their resource interests through the scholarship or a practical experience about Thailand. And the second one is to give the to give a chance to know the Thai uh, the Thai, uh, to know Thailand for those people who are not the the student. She was born in faraway Ireland in 1867. Drawn towards spiritualism and social service from an early age, Margaret Elizabeth Noble's life began afresh after she met Swami Vivekananda in London. Inspired by the message of Swamiji, Margaret traveled to India and became a sister Nivedita. She devoted her life to serving the deprived and the needy. Taking an active part in the freedom struggle, she also played a stellar role in women's education. Former students of Sister Nivedita School in Kolkata have come together and extended support for installing a statue of her at her birthplace in Ireland. To make the central government's Swachh Bharat Abhiyan a success, Don Bosco Self-Employment Research Institute in Lilua has taken up a project of rainwater harvesting. Civil engineering students of the institute are carrying out the project. Here, rainwater is being stored on top of toilets and will be used for flushing and can be used for bathing and other purposes, said Rector of the Institute, T.K. Thomas. Chief Advisor of the Institute, Brother Matthew, said, keeping in mind the importance attached by the Prime Minister to rainwater harvesting, they were using the water not only for use in toilets, but greening the surroundings as well. <laughs> This time we thought we will implement the much talked about uh, the Swatch pro program of the Prime Minister and uh, with uh, high hopes in the mind of the students we started the Swatch program by constructing, designing and constructing a toilet which you can do water harvesting, rainwater harvesting, and uh, that will be useful for the families, especially for the poor families. Locals are also happy with the initiative. Not only are they getting first-hand knowledge in cleanliness, but also want this project to be spread to other parts as well. And that brings us to the end of this edition of MetroScan from Kolkata. Thank you and Namaskar.